change this back to mix using normals so if you add texture coordinate mapping or if you just go under geometry you can access information about that geometry including uh, the normal information so you can also use that as a mask for whatever you want for for your meshes or for your texture well you can fit this directly into the factor uh, because it has a lot of colors different colors you're not going to get it's going to be difficult to get exactly what you want so you, what you want to do is isolate any of the three colors you see also that you can only work with one so that you work with one as your mask for example and see that uh, blue is very prominent here so i can use i can separate or isolate the blue channel so that i can use that so anything that has a blue shape is our mask is masked by our mask so if i change that to isolate that i can add a convert separate rgb node now i can isolate either the red channel green channel or uh, the blue channel as you can see here if you preview this you can see the blue was facing up so in the same sense if we separate that we will be masking all the faces facing that direction so then you can use this as a mask and you get something like that this is the same uh, effect or the same I, I, I normally use when creating my terrains uh, for example in this scene here I used uh, the normal map and separated uh, the blue channel uh, to be able to paint these uh, slopes, um, a rocky surface material, and then uh, these other surfaces are uh, grass material. You can also use the green channel or red channel, anything you want. In the same sense, you can use uh, the position. You can see now everything on the surface is getting that grass material and uh, if you preview this you can see it's also much colored so by separating other channels you can get one color so you can see now the red channel gives you this blend of left to right then the green channel gives you this uh, uh, I don't know west to east and then the blue channel will give you a top-down mask which is nice after this kind of scene where you want uh, the surface to have a different material and then the ground B to have a different material. Now it's too, the blend here is too strong. It's not, it's, it, it's not highly contrasted. So to make it, to give it a high contrast, you can either use a convert color ramp or a math node. Uh, let's say let's use car, the math node because we have used the color ramp already. Now we can change the operation to power to give this a more contrasted look you can see now when we move this up you can see it becomes less green like so and works both in EV and cycles using cavity map this only works in cycles as EV by the recording of this video doesn't support cavity maps so let's look at that here in cycles this is also based on the geometry node so input geometry let's sample uh, the pointness node uh, which is the equivalent to cavity map you can see in the EV, in the EV area we don't see any 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 change but uh, in cycles, you can see that uh, if we come closer to this object, you start to see some shapes. Now, if I add a math node here to play with the contrast, you can see uh, that we are getting something. So what the pointness map uh, makes is cr it creates a mask of the vertices you have. Uh, it creates a cavity map of uh, your geometry. Now this cube here doesn't have a lot of geometry. That's why you see it's, it has an even shape. If we add, say, the bevel modifier, just increase the segments, you can see that uh, where we have more segments, we are getting that highlight. It works similar to 
the viewport shading cavity display here. You can see where it shows you uh, those sharp edges. That's the mask we are going for. Now you can also make it further more contrasted by using a car ramp here and just bring this closer so that we create a very high contrasted mask. Something like that. Now, if we feed this directly into this, you can see what we get. It doesn't work really that well for this kind of setup, but uh, if I first disable these and give you something like a, a blue material and a white material, and maybe give this some metal nails, you can see how that looks. It works really well for metals. Uh, unfortunately, it works only in cycles. It doesn't work in EV. Number, I'm not sure what number this, but uh, using camera data. So let's reset our set. Get rid of this. Connect this back to one and connect this back to two. Uh, get rid of the material. Sorry, the metal mess. Uh, get rid of this. Under input, you also have the camera data input. And if if you preview this, you can see you get this this uh, data and also z depth. And uh, you can see that it works it works both in cycles and EV. And also you have this uh, view distance. So it's creating a mask or a shade of depending from your view uh, view position or uh, to the a mesh and uh, you can just add a convert mask node to play around uh, with the mask make it more contrasted or less con contrast contrasted again you can use this as a factor to blend those materials so right now it doesn't look super contrasted because can add a car ramp here you just make it that much more contrasted but this depends on your view angle so if I move this you can see that uh, this changes as well uh, this I think could work better on metals as well so if I disable this and this uh, because if you're texturing brush you don't want uh, the colors to change because uh, you don't want the colors to change uh, from your view angles because nature doesn't behave that, like that but uh, for metal materials uh, this could work nicely so for example maybe this could be great for car paint see so this could work very nicely for say camp painted cars now let's look at using object index so you can set you can give each of the objects an index are from zero to whatever number you want to use and uh, you can use that to create a mask depending on the object you have so for example we, are, we can continue using this material but uh, say we want this to be nine metal and uh, maybe be uh, use the grass texture here but the rest to be metallic and also use uh, this material uh, what we can do is uh, assign a, an object index uh, so you just go under the object data and give it an index so i'm going to set an index for each of these objects so this can be pass index zero this can be pass index one this two and then this three you can even add another object here Let's add this icosphere and give it and give it uh, an index of five. Uh, make sure it's using the same material 
like so. Let's raise it above the surface just like that. Now what we can do is uh, give this, go to the input uh, object info. What we want is this uh, pass object path index. So if we navigate to that, you can see that uh, uh, it's, it's giving us different shades of color for each of the objects depending on the path index and the path index. And the problem is that uh, the range we doesn't fit uh, the color values we have. So it giving us a range. Our range is uh, from zero to one, but our path index is going from zero uh, to five, which is our last object here. So to make this work, you can add a math node, change this to multiply, and uh, play with the values here. You can see now we are able to adjust the color range. But uh, to get more control, we can add a color ramp. Now change uh, the interpolation to constant and play with this value until you find that you're only looking at just one select one object uh, in white. So we can change, we can play with the value here. Let's set it to 0 0.5 as is the highest value we have here. So 0.5. Now we can play with this until we oh, we are only seeing. Okay, so this is three. Okay, we missed four here. So let's just put it at 0.4. around one let's make sure zero one two three four let's play with the multiply value here until we we are only seeing just one like that and now by moving by moving this around you can reveal uh, the objects you want So now we can use this as the mask. So we have this metal material, but uh, say we don't want this to have that material. We can just duplicate this and uh, mix these shaders. I'm just holding down sh Control Shift and then dragging uh, to mix these shaders. And now I can connect this as the mask. And uh, that should mean that uh, this icosphere is no longer using uh, the same material as this. Let me remove the metal lens on this. And I can give this the grass texture that I want to use, as you can see. Now, if I wanted more objects to have that grass texture, you just drag this and then that should have uh, the grass texture. And then that should have the grass texture and that. Or if I want just this object, I would have to add another node here, another black node, so that I can mask out uh, the other objects. So I would have to first reveal this. So I want to mask out this as well. Let's bring this. And now you can see we have that. So this is a quick way to create a mask uh, for different materials using the object index. Using Freshnal, uh, this is very easy. You just add the Freshnal input. and just preview only this node here. Get rid of the rest of the other nodes like this. So Freshnal just blends uh, the material depending on your view angle so it's under input shift a input fresh no then you can connect this directly there you can see let me first remove the metalness so that we can see exactly what's going on you can see depending on your view angle you get a different shade so again you can blend these using textures instead of colors as well so 
just replace the colors textures you can just use a texture to blend uh, the textures so instead of using freshness fractional for example here we can add a noise map texture or gradient let's just use a gradient connect this to the factor and now you can see a transition from ground uh, to grass here if i add a car ramp here it can give it more contrast you can see we have ground and surface ground and grass i think that's it the first one was using amine occlusion texturing texture paint vertex paint blending modes using normals cavity map camera data object path and yeah so thank you for watching if you have any questions just leave in, leave them in the description and i'll see you in the next video